<laughs> no. Hi, Rich Perez with Max Starks. And Max, uh, such a family legacy here. You're at the Super Bowl again. Uh, of course, tell me a little bit about uh, how you feel representing the Browners. Uh, you know, it's, it's a blessing, you know, as, as a kid, not, not knowing about this, this uh, rich heritage, and then finding out about it and not shying away from it, but embracing it and realizing that, you know, I do have a lot to live up to because, you know, the Browner family is something that has pretty much been the first family of football, and so being able to continue that into a second generation, I feel blessed. And I know I'll have support soon from, uh, from some of my cousins, and uh, you know I look forward to hopefully one day passing on to my child you know, this rich heritage uh, that they have in, in the sport of football. And for me to be here back again, finally to have not only one, but hopefully two up on my dad. Super Bowl appearances, and you know it, it's kind of cool that you know you can have that fun, friendly competition in your family. And you know, Uncle Joey still has me beat right now because I haven't been to a Pro Bowl yet as a player, and he's been to too many. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's something that you know, me, uh, you know they, they, they keep me grounded, they, they keep me constantly set, resetting my goals and evaluating my process and trying to make myself a better person and a player as well. Now, as your dad helped you in any way with some tips on, I mean, he, he was the monster on defense. Yeah, he, he's, giving, he's giving me some tips and he also gives me a lot more critiques uh, <laughs> about my play because he'll watch the game and he'll look at it from a different perspective. So he gives me, he gives me those things like, son, keep your hands moving, you know, you need to watch for that inside move. He's giving it away on his third step. You know, he gives me those little tidbits. And so it's just something that I'm always looking forward to hearing, hearing his commentary from his, like I like to call the football knowledge bank, uh, because he's the first one to really do it in a 3-4 defense. And so I go against 3-4 defenses the majority of the time. And he played for Coach LeBeau, so he's one of those guys, he's a very knowledgeable football player. And so he's a great person to have, you know, on speed now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, I've, I've had people call in Vegas, and they want to know, because they have heard that you have Browner also written in your helmet. Is that true, or is that just a story somebody gave us? Well, no, I had it my rookie year. I had a piece of tape written on the inside of my ear pad and had Browner written in it. Um, but it's something that, you know, I felt, I'm still a Stark, so I still, ha I still have to honor that. Oh, absolutely. Aspect. But um, it did help me get through my first year and realize what I was living up to. And now, now I get to live up to my own expectations while still giving the Browners something special as well. Max, thank you. Good luck. See what you can do. We'll see you in Hawaii. All right, partner. Thanks.